Hey guys, and welcome to another video and another episode of this series, My Cars. That's right, I am finally bringing back another episode of this series, My Cars. This is a series where I will take you along and deep dive into the story of each and every car that I have owned so far. And let me tell you, there's a lot of cars I've owned. I will just have to say I will be a lot better from going forward with these episodes. I will be posting two episodes a month now and I will post those every Thursday along with some gaming videos as well. So you can expect a gaming video one week at Thursday and the next video you will expect my cars. And I will keep that forward so we will have a video every Thursday and I will also try and keep posting every Sunday in what's going on in my daily life and my cars that I have right now. But anyways. Remember to subscribe and like this video if you could and if you have not seen the other episode of my cars please check out my playlist and you will find a lot of cool videos over there. So now let's dive into episode number 9. The car that we are going to talk about today is my 7 series. That's right, it's my E23 728i from 1984 and it all began with a guy on Facebook wanting to trade. So I said, well, I have an E34. Are you interested in trading that for your 7 Series? And he was actually up for it. And if you're wondering what kind of E34 that was, that was the E34 from episode number seven. If you have watched my cars, if you have not, go back and watch it. It's a good episode and it was a really good car. Anyways, my buddy and I, we took a road trip. Actually, he was from far north. So he drove four hours, I drove four hours and uh, we met him in the middle and it was a great road trip with the E34. One final road trip with that car. And we got to the place where we were supposed to meet up and then I watched the car and I test drove it and he test drove my car and then we did the trade. I think actually I got some money but it was almost an even trade for a E34 520 and the E23 728i manual. We drove that car back home again and it was a really late night but it was a good road trip anyways and we did find a roundabout. Uh, that we had some fun in as well because I was so eager to just test out the car. You know, it was my first time having a 2.8 liter and having that M30 engine. I've never had an M30 before, so that was quite cool to have an M30 B28 engine in a manual car as well. It's my, I mean, it's an old car, so I was kind of worried about beating on it, but it's a BMW and it can take it. <laughs> Then we got the car home and uh, the next day I immediately took the car for a wash since I know I have been driving that car in the salty, on the salty roads. So I gave it a quick wash and a deep wash actually and uh, immediately I could tell that it looked really really good. I mean it was not a super clean example of the 7 series but yet it was a quite nice car. I mean, I was quite happy. It had super soft seats. It was really comfortable to drive with, I think it was a five-speed transmission. And yeah, it was good to drive. I mean, having that back in 1984, you were the boss of the streets. <laughs> Yeah, so back at that time, I did actually go to college and that was my daily because I traded my daily for another daily, so I had to use it every day. So going to college, I had to use it in heavy snowy weather and uh, I mean, it was kind of fun.
it's good, it's very cool. I also took some buddies of mine uh, with me for some winter drifting and they also thought that was pretty cool and uh, that was in the beginning of the spring actually and when the spring finally like came out and it was getting warm in the weather I remember deciding that I wanted to fix the speedometer in the car or the speedo because it does not have any lighting in there at all and in the winter time there's a lot of it's dark a lot of the times uh, there's a lot of darkness when it's winter here in Norway. I mean, the, 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 uh, the days are shorter and it's not that much sunlight here in Norway. And I changed the little bulbs in there, which are like two watts or something like that. They're not that powerful. But anyways, I swapped those over. I actually bought new bulbs at BMW. I don't know why I did that. But anyways, I took apart the speedometer and I swapped the bulbs and then it was very good again. It was kind of feeling good to like wrench on the car. And uh, yeah, it was a cool car. And then spring finally came and then I tried on some new wheels for the car. If you have watched episode number 8 of my cars, you do know that I bought an E34 525, which I also bought some RH wheels, which are 17 by 10. And those are quite wide, like I said, and let me tell you, it looked pretty cool. And 7 Series have huge arches. and. Uh, gaps uh, in the wheel arch so I mean it was no problem fitting that wheel and then we came to the National Constitution Day in Norway which is 17th of May that's the liberation day for Norway and that at that day you like it is a tradition for many people to bring out your classic car or cool car uh, on that day and drive around and just simply have a good day and that was exactly what I did I brought the 7 series out because that was the nicest car I had back at that time <laughs> And uh, I drove around with friends and it was pretty fun and so cool. And I also brought my girlfriend along. It was kind of, it was a good day, but it was actually really hard to find some parking that day, I remember. So we had to park in like a, a field with a lot of grass and it was, had rained the day before, so it was, was kind of muddy and almost hard to get out of that like place where we parked. So I had to take some proper speed, but I got up there, but I had to spin a lot and the car got kind of muddy and that was not good at all. For me, I had a lot of E36s and E34s from earlier. So it was really cool to experience something new and older, more classical, uh, the more classical side of BMWs. Compared to now, an E34 is also maybe considered a classic, but back at that time, 2018, and I did not think an E34 was a classic. I mean, but this from 84, that was a classic. The, then spring came and I bought another car and that made me sell this car so yeah i sadly had to sell the car because i didn't couldn't afford having too many cars it costs a lot with insurance and everything and simply just having the car so i needed the money i think i sold it for around thirty five hundred dollars or 3,500 euros. And I was quite happy with that. I mean, I paid uh, a little bit less for my E34 and uh, I swapped that over, like I said. So it was a good deal for me and I think it was kind of fun. I did fix on the car a little bit and made it look nice with wheels and all that stuff. It was a fun car to have and I really looked back at that moment as a cool car to own. And I most likely will own another old-timer BMW again in the future. I hope at least I will. I really do want a BMW E30, but those are getting ridiculously expensive, so I don't know if I can afford it, but it will be kind of cool to experience like a 320, a 318, something like that. But, uh, or maybe a 6 Series would also be super fun to have. I really love the design of those cars. So if there is any questions you guys have about this car, please leave them down below in the comment section and I will, like I said, continue to make these my cars videos. And I have, just believe me, I have more and more footage for each car we are getting into here because now at this point, I'm actually starting doing YouTube, which I started over five years ago now. So. So yeah, we are, I actually made videos with the, these cars I'm making videos with now. So the, look, the throwback videos. So we will get better and better in my cars videos, I promise you that. And uh, like I said, I will always also combine these with some gaming videos because I think gaming is kind of fun to make and I love gaming and I think that's cool content. So I hope you guys do as well and you can expect a video every Thursday from now on. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I at least like making these videos and I'm very sorry that it's been taking me so long. But I'm super grateful that you watched till the end. Subscribe if you're not already and like the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.